Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing these. <laughs> I found these. They are DeWalt Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> what? So, I saw these and I thought that it was like, oh, somebody's stolen DeWalt branding colors. Uh, when I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw it, uh, an advertisement from, I think it was like Granger, uh, but I was like, uh, hold on, they, they sell earbuds, like, like the Apple Air, AirPod. Uh, so anyway, I ordered them, uh, I went on, uh, Granger had them, they, they were like $120 or something like that, and then I went on Amazon and they were reasonably cheaper. Um, I don't know if they're a reasonable price at $79, but they are quite a bit cheaper. Um, and today I'm going to be comparing them against my other and pretty much only other pair of Bluetooth headphones I have, which is my Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. This is like the first set of Galaxy Buds that they came out with. Yes, they still work-ish. Uh, my right ear uh, is about half volume for some reason. And the microphone only catches a little bit of what I'm saying. So I typically, if I'm taking a call, I have to take out the earbuds. So we're going to test out these new DeWalt earbuds. So let's go ahead and dive in. <laughs> I still can't believe like, this is a real thing. I thought it was like just somebody using DeWalt colors. No, these are legit DeWalt brand earbuds. All right. These blister packs are the absolute worst to open, so once we're in, I never want to get back into this thing. Oh no, I wasn't ready. They'll take a fall. Okay, let's get all this stuff. Here. All right, now that they've escaped the blister pack, let's see what's inside of our box here. I have all sorts of things tucked in here. So starting with, we got our instruction manual from DeWalt. Um, whole bag full of ear tips to make sure that we get the correct fit. Look at that, there's tons of them. We're still going, hold on. There's another one. We got some that are like uh, yellow, some that are clear, some are black. Um, oh, these are like earplug foam, that's kind of cool. Um, so there is a whole bunch of earbuds here. We have our case, a USB to USB-C charger to charge our case, which is cool that they're actually using USB-C. And then we have our earbuds here. Um, it does have a little sensor you can see so it can tell when it is in your ear. Um, and our two charging pads there. We have a plus or minus physical buttons to turn the volume up and down, as well as a physical button on the outside here. We got another plus or minus button here. And then our case just opens right up. Looks like it's fully charged. It's got four little lights here that'll run down as you run out. And then the earbuds just magnetically pop in there. This case advertises 30 hours of playtime, while comparatively, when we talk about my Samsung case, this one advertises 22 hours of playtime with the case. This is up to 30 hours with the case. Let's see if this uh, manual here tells us, us anything about the different qualities of this clear one versus the yellow one versus our foam earbuds here. These guys are real squishy, kind of like ear plugs. I wonder if they provide like a safety rating. Nope. So the instruction manual will go over some basic uh, instructions telling you what the buttons do, things like that, as well as uh, giving you general instructions of how to use it, how to understand what like the LEDs mean, things like that. And then last thing you'll see here in the manual is it does have a lifetime warranty. So that's kind of nice that DeWalt offers that. So let's go ahead and uh, Let's just turn them on and uh, see if they work. We'll bring my phone over here. So I put it in my ear here. These guys are chunky. 
Is it pretty obvious that I have a, a, a headphone in? This reminds me of those uh, Bluetooth headphones like from the years ago that had like the microphone stick. It says power on, battery high. So let's go ahead and scan. Oh, there it is, DeWalt. Pair. All right, and we're now connected. Let's go ahead and listen to some music here. This is Acting Up by MK2. See how it sounds for you. Oh. Hold this to the microphone for ya. Huh. All right, now the buttons are pretty hard to push, so you're like forcing it back into your ear when you push those buttons, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Comfort, I wouldn't say is awesome. Let's go ahead and disconnect. We'll throw in my Samsung Galaxy Buds. There's definitely like maybe more bass and it's clearer coming from the DeWalt. Granted, it could be affected by the fact that these are three, four year old headphones, uh, the Samsung ones. Um, I don't know, it's, it's almost like it's more immersive than my Samsung. My Samsung, it feels more hollow. I do have ambient sound turned off on the Samsung Galaxy Buds. See how the uh, controls do here on the side. Yeah, turns it up and down. I do appreciate that this, the buttons on the side are physical buttons. However, the button on the end here that goes towards or into the ear, you have to push it pretty hard, which is uncomfortable. Not great, because you're basically forcing it into your ear to pause the sound. It's a lot of pressure you gotta put on that. Let me go ahead and try these special ear tips. I'm gonna take these guys off here and throw the ear plug tip in here. All right, throw that in. Now, how much of a difference that makes? I don't know, I'd say it's marginally better. It does block out some sound. I definitely can't hear myself at all now. Let's see if I can tell a difference on the non-foam end and the foam end. So you just squish that. It should plug your ear, should. So I can't hear from your side, but I wonder if there is like some ambient audio that like you're getting from it. I don't think I'm getting anything back though. I'm not hearing anything. And these, that is one thing that these don't offer is bypass audio. So it doesn't have microphones on the outside feeding sound back in. If you want to be aware of your air surroundings kind of thing. So this is, completely blocks out sound. I wouldn't say that I can tell a physical difference. Oh, geez. I must have been yelling. <laughs> I can't say that I feel like a, a physical difference having the foam pad over the, uh, the rubber, but I'm gonna go ahead and try the medium with the yellow tag on it. Let's see if that's any different. I feel like you can hear a little bit more when I'm using the flush tips 
here you can see so this tip sits a little bit more flush while this other one it sits out a little bit more you can kind of see the difference there with the clear tip and the one with the yellow yellow lining I'm not sure what they how how they how the performance difference really is I feel like the medium doesn't block as much sound but then there's these other ones that are even more different because like this one sits deeper in your ear this yellow one but then the ones that came on it they they uh, have an even more different look where um, it's gonna be hard to show you they sit even deeper you can see it's got the same yellow thing but then it sits it comes even further out what that means I don't know uh, if you know about this stuff if you're a headphone professional and you've watched a million reviews and you understand earbuds and why different earbuds are what way leave that in the comments uh, I'll be sure to pin your comment if you have uh, some valuable information I think I'm gonna go with the small ones to start here the small yellows I think I like these little ones Got a small air canal, I guess. I don't know. We'll try these out for a few days. See what I think. Obviously, I already have some opinions about it. It doesn't have the um, ambient audio so I can hear what's going on around me. But hopefully, the bright yellow earbud on my ears will uh, inform everyone that I have headphones in. You need to get my attention if you're going to try to talk to me. It does come with a massive freaking case. Um, USB-C charging. IP6 rating, um, I don't know if I mentioned that, but these are IP6, while my um, Galaxy Buds are actually only IPX2. So I'll try these guys out for a little while. The case is definitely a lot bigger too, if you look at that. We're looking at a much bigger uh, Bluetooth case here. But these do advertise um, an extra eight hours of playtime, so shouldn't have to recharge them for at least, you know, three or four days. So I'll go ahead and try these out, let you know what I think, and uh, for you it won't be but a few seconds, but for me it'll be uh, probably next week. We'll be back. All right, so it's now been, gosh, a couple of weeks. I gave them as good of a try as I can. I'll start with one highlight I really like about these is I haven't charged these since I, uh, got them. I charged them once to full and in the two weeks uh, you can see there it's only gone down halfway on the battery keeping these headphones completely charged. I use these for uh, probably an hour sometimes two in the morning and then I'll use them here and there at work. While my Samsung ones I don't think I've ever let those die before but I am genuinely impressed that I haven't had the case die because I've had my Samsung uh, headphones the cases died on these but um, the these DeWalt ones, I was impressed with the battery life. However, sound quality, it's fine. For an $80 pair of headphones, it's good. Compared to these, even five years later are still $200. Um, these being $79, decent value uh, in sound quality. They did offer a ton of options on uh, the little package of uh, ear buds and things here. You got tons of different sizes. Now, there isn't any actual rating that it says it has for noise cancellation or ear protection, but with these foam tips, they do advertise, you can see here on Amazon, noise isolation. So that'll help around loud equipment, power tools, stuff like that, but honestly, I feel like my Samsung did a better job in general. Granted, I wasn't using these little tips, but um, when I'm just working, doing things like that, I ended up going with the uh, the smallest tips with the yellow one. So there's three different types of tips here where we got small, medium, large of each, but we have the ones with the yellow here. These yellow ones go are for like a slightly deeper ear canal and then we have the ones that are clear, and these clear ones here are for 
um, people with a shallower ear canal so it doesn't go in as far. I found that with these ones, I couldn't get them to stay in and they didn't get a seal at all to where like I was still getting like a lot of ambient noise where these would isolate like a little bit of noise out because it was blocking the rest of the opening. However, when I had ear tips that were the wrong size, I started getting like suction in my ear, kind of like the pressure you get when you go in like a plane or you dive down in water. Um, these headphones would give me that if I used the wrong size ear tip. Even these ones, if I push them in too hard, which happens anytime you have to push that pause play button, you have to shove it like into your ear so often I found myself either grabbing for my phone to pause or play or like pinching it on the sides while pushing the button. So I just like kind of hold it with these two fingers and then push, try and push the button with this finger to prevent it from like just shoving it in my ear and stabbing myself in the head. I really don't like this button. These volume buttons are fantastic though. I must say, very handy. I like the location. It doesn't obstruct or like intervene. I feel like this button should just be opposite of them. Honestly, that's it. Just have this button on the opposite surface, not on the face that shoves it into your ear. Sorry, I was still going over the types of tips. And then there is one set, it is the uh, medium size uh, ear, they only have it in medium, but it goes extra deep. I think I showed that earlier, but uh, that one was way too deep in my ear, I could tell already. These foam ones, I don't feel like I could really tell a big difference on these ones versus regular ones. They just seem to be more of a hassle of like getting it in your ear because you kind of do need to sit and squish and twirl them before you put up, try and put it in your ear. Otherwise, it feels like they're about to fall out. I never did have them fall out, but just something that uh, bothered me is like I felt like they were going to fall out where having the small ear tips with the uh, just the slight extension bit, the little yellow worked out perfect for me. For you, it could be completely different. However, I still was really bothered with having to shove it in my ear to push the button or that it also, like even these ones will create some suction in my ear and I don't know, I didn't, I didn't love them. And unfortunately, uh, even though I was wearing yellow Bluetooth earbuds on my ear, people for some reason still see this and didn't realize oh hey, he's got headphones in, he still can't hear me. I could hear them talking, I just couldn't hear what they were saying because I literally had headphones in. Whereas like with these guys, I honestly, I felt like I couldn't hear anything around me if I have ambient off and there's anything going on. With a the ambient uh, option on these, which is really cool and something I think I really want in a future set of headphones to be able to hear ambient sound that's a feature i really like where these don't offer anything like that but they're also a 79 dollars pair of bluetooth headphones which i believe are around the same price as the raycons let's see raycon earbuds 79 dollars same price uh, however raycons are definitely more compact um, looking at those looking at mine um, basically this whole section here um, of the earbud everything that's like this black section here is what every other earbud doesn't have and they take up this same amount of space here so this whole stick is unnecessary almost i don't know i'm i'm not a big fan of that um and so i just thought about this next thing that really bugs me about these i didn't really think about it or think anything of it but there is a button on the back here this button on the back right here is a factory reset button Luckily, if the case is closed, won't reset them, but if it's open and you happen to press it, which it is, look, I'm holding it and it's touching them, you, you, I've already reset them once at least. Reconnecting them isn't so bad because like to do a full factory reset, you have to like forget it on your phone, but your phone will automatically reconnect them and they'll go out and search and if your phone's like, hey, I already remember you, it's like, you remember me? Okay. It does take longer to reconnect, but it does reconnect after a uh, factory reset. Speaking of connecting though, the, connect the time from when you pull them out of the case and when they're actually playing in your ear is too long. Like, I don't need a conversation from you, DeWalt. So I'll pull them out, and actually I'll do this right now while I'm thinking about it. It'll say, power on, battery high. And now it's connecting. And then it says, your device is connected. And now we're connected 
to listen to whatever is playing on my phone. You just watched in real time how long that takes. Next, Samsung Galaxy Buds, ready? It knows it's in my ear, I'm already playing. All I heard was a doo-doo saying connected. Like that was it. Why DeWalt? Why do you have to have a conversation with me about I'm on battery as this level? Like, also, it'd be nice if they had an app. There are DeWalt apps, and the DeWalt apps are for their high-end products that then have GPSs on them for you to be able to track your tools, which is cool and all, but does nothing with your uh, Bluetooth headphones here. So connection time takes a little too long. Why? Why DeWalt? Why does it take so long? I've also had a couple of times where in my pocket, they'll just randomly connect to the headphones that are in the case still in my pocket because the case isn't perfectly fitting. Um, so if maybe it's in my pocket and there's a bump, they're now disconnected from that and it sees that there's a shadow over the, um, you see that little sensor there? So whenever there's anything covering that sensor, it thinks, oh hey, there's something covering my uh, it's, it, I'm in an ear, that means I've been inserted, so it then turns on, connects. Oh, it's so annoying. So, I've had a couple of times where like, maybe I just bumped my leg on something, or was walking, or jogging, or running, and it, they then are now connected to my phone from being jarred, jostled, whatever, inside the case. The case is not open. And lastly, last complaint is about the case. This thing is huge. Granted, if you work in construction, not a problem. If you need something durable, this is probably good. But if you're just a regular Joe and you're like, look, I like DeWalt, that's cool. I don't know if it's that cool because every day, all the time, I find myself just grabbing that and throwing it in my pocket. If I'm going out somewhere with my wife and some friends, I'm like, you know what? I don't know if the conversation is going to be interesting or not. I'll throw these in my pocket just in case like they go off on a tangent and I'm not interested. I can just throw a headphone in, disconnect, watch TikToks or watch YouTube videos, something like that to keep me, you know, mentally occupied while they have their conversation. And then if they want to bring me back in, I only have one ear and usually I can just pull that ear out or just turn, pause it and have continue conversation. But it's also very discreet. Whereas this, is huge in my pocket. Let me let me just give you a, a glance. So, this is my pocket with the Galaxy Buds. There it is right there. That, just throw it in. Hardly can't tell. This is my pocket with the DeWalt Bluetooth headphones. She's a brick. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like, are you happy to see me or is that some headphones? So, it's not all that though. Like for $79, these are competitive headphones for $79. The battery life, I started out with that one. It's good battery life, really good. 30 hours is what they advertise. And um, I obviously apparently in the past two weeks haven't used them for 30 hours. So they're still charged. They still got half a battery in the case. The physical buttons, I do like that it has physical buttons rather than these are like touch buttons that are not always perfectly responsive. So Samsung is not necessarily better. It's just I don't like that this button right here is literally pushing into my ear and it's so hard to push. It drives me nuts. I wish I didn't have to push that button or I wish they put the button somewhere else or it was softer, anything like that. But or even put it down here on the end to where it's not pushing into my ear, it's pushing against my head, maybe? I don't know, there's so many different things you could do to make this just a little bit better. Just that little bit, if you'd done like a little bit of R&D. Instead, they, they threw this guy out there. Other nice features is, I, I even thought about it, I'm not a construction worker, but I imagine you could easily operate these wearing some simple gloves, whether it's some like thin leather gloves, some mechanic style gloves, you can feel the, these buttons, they're raised enough that you can feel where these buttons are here, the power or the volume up and down. And then this power button is definitely enough that you can feel it clicking, which is good if you're wearing gloves. However, I don't know that these are gonna make it into my daily carry. I'll probably be slipping my Samsung Galaxy Buds back in my pocket now that the uh, testing on this DeWalt set is over. 
So those are my thoughts. For the average everyday user, that is what I think of the DeWalt Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth earbuds. If you can find them on a great sale, do it. But honestly, I'm looking here on Amazon, they're listed at $79.99, and I even checked a couple of different places, Honey and CamelCamelCamel.com. Camel, Camel, Camel. That's a mouthful. CamelCamelCamel.com. It's a website that can actually show like the full history on it. So if we look right here, it shows it's showing price history for all time rather than like one month, three months, six months. While Honey, I think they'll do 120 days. Camel will do all the lifetime of that product, and it's showing. Um, $79 is the floor price for that product. So um, every once in a while you might see third party that'll have it for, you know, $68 to $76, somewhere in there. But Amazon almost always gonna be 79. It looks like there was one sale uh, back in January for like a day. But that's what I think of the DeWalt Bluetooth earbuds. If you have questions about these or anything else I've talked about in this video, leave those questions in the comments below as well as your suggestions for future videos. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. If you want to get these for yourself, I'll have links to them down in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so using those links do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. So go ahead and click those links and do your shopping from there if you'd also like to just help support this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.